What's up everyone? This is Chris, your local wheeler here at Wheeler Dealer in Boise, Idaho. Uh, what we got here for you today is a 1999 Ford F550, uh, the 7.3 liter uh, turbo diesel. Um, it is a dual rear wheel, two wheel drive. It's got uh, 193,000 miles on it. I have actually been uh, using this truck personally for about the past eight months. Um, I apologize, I typically pull it out, but I wanted to get a cold start in the video here for you um, and just go over some stuff before the truck was running. But um, So I picked it up, um, like I said, about eight months ago, and uh, the truck was completely bone, bone stock except for the uh, 2L conversion that has been done. Um, as far as the engine goes though, everything was stock. Um, the 2L conversion uh, includes a custom interior, which I'll talk about here in a few minutes. Um, it also includes this uh, really, really nice flatbed here um, that's set up to haul gooseneck. Um, really, really nice uh, setup here. Comfortable, pull anything you want. Um, the dually setup as well is much more stable than a single rear wheel. Um, the inside of the bed here has been uh, Raptor lined. Um, does have some scuffs and scrapes on it, but still looks pretty good. Um, it's got a diamond plated um, 70 gallon fuel cell, um, as well as a, um, I believe it's a 30 gallon tank. Um, on here, so I, I don't quote me 100% on that. I know that's a 70 gallon, but I believe this is a 30 gallon here. Um, both are plumbed to an actual switch, so you can switch between between the two tanks. Both tanks have sending units, so you can see the fuel level in both tanks. Um, the truck does have airbags um, in the rear here. The fill ports have been plumbed into right here. Um, there is an air compressor and tank underneath this. Uh, I, I'm not sure if the compressor um, ran for too long and burned out, or I don't know if it works. I have not plugged it in. Um, I've only used those manual valves there. Um, but it could easily be fixed or replaced, um, depending on what the deal is there. Um, so we've got several different... Um, trailer wiring connections here all throughout on the bed here so pretty much any style of uh, wiring that you need pretty cool setup I've really enjoyed pulling with it All day long, all day long. People, people always see me out here with trucks and stuff, and always, always punch it. <laughs> uh, but the body was really, really straight. Uh, looks really good. Um, you know, it is uh, 1999, so there's definitely some signs of use, but um, it's definitely been taken care of. I've taken very good care of it since I've had it. Uh, the exterior looks great. Got these uh, toolboxes on either side here. Pretty big. They both lock. Both of those work. Um, as far as the interior goes, um, so part of the 2L conversion is the custom seats, um, all leather front and rear. Um, the front seats, the Driver's seat has that tear there. Um, they're definitely pretty worn and could use a good cleaning and um, conditioning, but they're comfortable. They're all intact. Um, they have dual armrests on either side. Um, all power, all of that works. Um, the rear seat, um, I'll show you here in just a second, but the rear seat does have a tear. 
um, on the um, behind the driver's seat. Um, it's got a nice like um, neoprene seat cover on it. I've just left it on there. Um, it makes it easy. Um, the uh, other additions for the 2L conversion are this wood grain trim. Um, it does have some areas on it that are um, like the laminate is peeling off. Um, but it's all complete. It wouldn't be too difficult to take it off and redo it. Um, another 2L conversion part. Um, big, huge storage cubby here. Cup holder. Uh, CB radio. It does turn on. I have the um, microphone for it. But uh, I can't figure out how to use it. I don't know if it works or not. Um, I, I, I've messed with it and can't figure out how to use it. Um, more area where that laminate stuff is peeled off, but um, there's a 2L logo. Nice little storage cubby here. Um, underneath the cup holders also has a storage cubby there. Some cup holders in the back. Ashtray. Cup holders. Power port. Um, another part of the 2L conversion here. Um, I'm not really sure what you'd call this, but a, like a headliner lighting unit. <laughs> uh, looks pretty cool. Uh, I like it, what I was using. So um, when I was, oh, this is just like a storage cubby for sunglasses and wallet or whatever. Um, but you know, at night, so I actually. Uh, would take this seat out when I would travel in the truck um, and I built a platform um, I'll include it with the sale if you want it but I built a, a wood platform back here that I just put a memory foam mattress on um, and then scooted the seats forward plenty of room back here um, and then up here I would use my phone mount and mount my phone to that and uh, watch movies and um, actually really spacious uh, me and my uh, 120 pound um, kind of Corso <laughs> have uh, spent, spent several nights in here together on um, the back seat the truck is really clean um, I mean you know I, I keep my stuff pretty nice um, this side this seat's all good underneath you let's see if I can get in there this side the seat's all good, um, but I'll show you the other side over there. And then this is the tear on this side here. So nothing too massive, but uh, enough that I've just kept the seat cover on and um, it works good. Um, some other things that uh, were just on the truck when I got it. Um, so you got a gauge up here on the dash uh, for boost and exhaust gas temp um, down here this was the uh, switch for the airbags to air them up and, and um, air them down um, like I said that's all that whole system has just been disconnected I have uh, it's all plumbed up here but it ha it's been disconnected in the back where the pump is um, this is a multi-gauge um, and I'll show you some of that stuff, but I have that set right now on transmission temp and engine oil temp, um, but you can switch it all, all around through um, pretty much any of the um, diagnostics that are available from the OBD2 port. Um, it plugs in right down there. Um, the base switch here, um, there is wiring for a amplifier and subwoofer. Um, 
plumb to behind the back seat. Well, there is no amper sub in here right now. Um, the auxiliary and main switch here on the left, um, that is the switch between the two tanks. On this side here, um, let's see if I can get this. So on this side here, um, all of these switches are ran to different things. Um, you know, there are air horns on here. Um, I'm not sure what other accessories were initially plumbed to this. Um, this is not something that I currently use, um, but it, it is there. So uh, whether you wanted to plumb that into your own accessories, um, you know, be that lights or um, air pumps or anything like that, uh, that would be easy to do. Um, and then this is the uh, PHP Hydra um, tuner that I put on the truck. Um, which I guess actually now we'll start talking about um, what I have done to the truck since I've had it. So um, initially when I first got it, uh, like I said, a bone stock engine, um, uh, everything on the truck. It, it did have a new transmission put in it um, in Mountain Home. Uh, probably, I, I believe like five years ago, it's on Carfax. Um, it doesn't come with a warranty. Um, I don't have any paperwork for it. You can see the work was done on Carfax, but um, other than that, uh, everything was stock. So uh, I got the truck, pulled with it a couple of times, um, really enjoyed it. I don't, um, I, I'm not using this obviously as a race truck. Um, it is fun to drive, but um, you know, I'm, I just need something that I can get in. It's gonna start every single time. Um, it'll pull whatever I need to put on the trailer um, and get the job done. So I've done some basic modifications that um, are really aimed to making the truck more dependable as well as uh, you know making the truck fit the job that I need done. Um, so the PHP Hydra Tuner, um, if you're not familiar with it, is something that was um, easy to install as well as um, easy to take out. So if it is not something that you want, on the truck, it would be very, very simple to uninstall this and have the truck running stock. Um, although I do have a stock setting on the tuner. So um, this is a selectable on the fly tuner, meaning that you can change between predetermined tunes. Um, and you can also change those tunes via a laptop um, for free. Um, so here's what I have on there right now. Um, so no start on setting one, setting two, a 1000 RPM high idle. Um, I really like that one because, uh, you know, if I, number one, if I want to start my truck in the morning and, and I don't want to sit there for 10 minutes while it's warming up, um, I can put it on high idle and, and it helps warm things up a little bit faster. Um, as well as after I get done uh, with a, you know, a heavy load or a long pull or something, um, and I want to give, um, you know, my truck time to cool down before I shut it off. Um, I can put it at a thousand RPM and that's adjustable too. They have a couple of different high idles, but a thousand seems to be what I've found to work best. Um, setting number three is the stock. Um, so no tune on there. Setting number four is another one that, um, I mean, I guess sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It definitely does quiet the truck down, but to be honest, most of the time they uh, make me turn the truck off at drive throughs anyways. So um, whisper mode just drops the idle and uh, it really does quiet the truck down. But um, setting five is 25 horsepower um, above stock towing. Um, so that would be for super heavy loads. Um, number six, 40 towing, um, a little bit lighter, but still fairly heavy. Number seven towing, uh, that's something that I use for like single vehicles. Um, number eight towing, to be honest with you, I never really use that, um, but I would assume that you could use that for small trailers, maybe with uh, dirt bikes or four wheelers or something. Um, I don't think you'd hurt anything, but that's just from my research and what I use these for. That's what I'm, I'm doing. Um, number nine is the 65 horsepower daily driver. Um, so quite a bit of punch above stock there. Um, setting number 10 is 80 horsepower daily driver. Um, and 11 is 100 horsepower over performance. Um, I have put it in 11 one time when I first installed the tuner, uh, just to kind of check it out. Um, typically when I do not have anything loaded, I'm driving in number nine, um, and then usually when I'm pulling, I'm in either six or seven, depending on what I'm, I'm pulling. But um, So there's the different tunes. Um, you can switch those on there on the fly. Um, that's made life uh, really nice as far as um, 
having that extra bit of oomph for the truck. Um, it really, to be honest, it really, really woke the truck up. Um, so from there, um, I put that on. Uh, the truck was having um, no issues at all um, pulling. Um, I did notice that my exhaust gas temperatures um, while pulling up a hill um, with a fairly heavy load would get, you know, 900 to 1100 degrees, um, which is still good, but uh, it's creeping up there on that hot side. So I really wanted to um, take care of that. Um, so because of that, um, I put on a four inch turbo back um, exhaust. Uh, it is straight pipe. I do have the muffler if you wanted to put that on there. I'll include that with the truck. Um, but uh, putting that on and taking off the um, muffler and cat off of the truck really, really woke it up. Um, and my exhaust gas temps now, because of that, um, I mean, normal loads, I maybe hit 600. Um, if I'm going up a really steep, steep hill, uh, pulling a heavy load, I might hit 900. Um, took the factory air box off and put on this um, larger, um, larger cone filter on it. Um, that also really seemed to help a lot. Um, and then the only other thing that I have done um, is I put on, let's see if we can see it in here. Hey guys, sorry, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. But that right there um, is a Mishimoto transmission cooler. Uh, you're, not, you're not really gonna be able to see it in the video, I'm sorry. Um, but. So the Mishimoto transmission cooler um, is almost 300% larger than the factory transmission cooler. Um, I will include the factory transmission cooler as well if you like that. Um, but um, my transmission temps um, while pulling heavy loads on average um, before this Mishimoto transmission cooler would typically get about 180 um, and then you know, sometimes I would see spikes up into the 190s. Um, since I've put the Mishimoto on there, typically runs at 170, even on really hot days. Um, I may hit 175 if, if I'm going up a steep grade. Um, but yeah, uh, other than that, I think I've gone over pretty much um, everything on the truck here. Um, there's a brake controller here. Um, it does have an aftermarket JVC stereo. It's an old stereo. Um, I just used this bottom cigarette port and got one of those Bluetooth adapter things for it. But um, I believe they're Kenwood speakers in the front and in the back. It doesn't sound too bad. Um, I mean, it's probably not an award-winning sound system, but enough room for a double din and um, easy to replace the door speakers and get something nice in here. I'm going to go ahead and give it a cold start here. So the truck has been sitting here under the bay for uh, uh, two days, um, waiting to get cleaned and um, have me take this video. Um, so I'll go ahead and do a cold start um, right now. I'm in setting number six. Um, so we're going to go up to uh, or down to setting number two for 1000 RPM high idle. All right, so do this again really quickly so you guys can see all the lights work on the dash. Check lights work, everything's good. Wait to start there on the far right. All right, everything's good there. So, cold start. They said it's only been two days, but uh, truck has Zero smoke, fires right up. It is loud, but um, I didn't I didn't do the exhaust for the, the sound. I mean, although it does sound really cool. <laughs> uh, I, I did it just so that I could get 
Um, better exhaust gas temperatures while I'm towing. Um, so like I said, right now we're on setting number two, high idle. Um, cold start there. Um, and then, you know, here I'll show you guys a couple of these too. So um, you got the high idle there. Uh, so then we can go down to four, which is the whisper mode. So you can hear how loud it is. Loud. So then we're going to go up to four. So that's a pretty dramatic difference, but uh, because we went from the 1000 RPM high idle to the whisper mode, but you know, if you're starting your truck in a neighborhood and you don't want to make anybody mad, uh, you know, it might help a little bit. Tires on the truck are really good. Tons of life left on them. Um, it's got the Continental H, uh, HSRs. Nice heavy duty tires. Both tires in the rear look really, really good. All the tires are matching. Up underneath the truck. Nice Pacific Dually rims. dry truck doesn't leak or burn nothing um, no oil usage I change the oil every 3,000 miles uh, I always use in in these seven threes I like to use a uh, Rotella uh, t4 1540 nice heavyweight oil um, doesn't like to find leaks in my my experience so um, yeah so I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, into uh, just like a daily driver tune real quick. We'll, we'll go with the 60 horse, 65 horsepower on number 9. I'll give you guys a little bit of the exhaust note here. So I went from that whisper mode to uh, daily driver tune to idling at right around 800, 850 RPM. Um, the truck is still cold, so I'm going to give it some time before I drive it and go take pictures and stuff, but um, Some nice exhaust note for you guys Super responsive um, uh, Some other maintenance things actually I guess I'll talk about some of that stuff too some other maintenance things that I've done to the truck um, I replaced the fuel filter about a thousand miles ago. Uh, I did the fuel pump at the same time. I also replaced the inline filter between the two tanks. Um, I replaced the uh, fuel tank switch valve. Um, flushed the coolant. Um, I also uh, drain and fill the, the transmission. I did not flush it, but I did do a drain and fill on the transmission. Um, other than that, really just basic, you know, I, I do oil changes every 3,000 no matter what. Um, I ran fuel system cleaner through everything before I did the fuel filters. Every couple of tanks I'll put something in. Um, some sort of fuel system treatment in there. But, uh, yeah, here it is, guys. Um, I don't think this one's going to last long, so if it's something that you're interested in, let us know. You can come down and see us. We're at 10250 West Fairview Avenue. Um, you can give us a call at 208-336-1234. Take a look at our inventory on the web at uh, www.localwheeler.com. Yeah, I'm checking out. Oh, here's that gauge that I was talking about earlier. But anyways, um, yeah, here it is. Nice, clean, tow pig. This thing will pull anything you put behind it. All right, take it easy, guys.